everyone, this is David from Workshop Tool and uh, today we are filming from our uh, studio, we could call this now a studio, in downtown LA. You want to pan around and show them what we're we doing here? So what we're we doing is that we're going to be putting a uh, um, studio, sewing studio together for people that want to sew. And this is the beginning, we're going to have a bunch of sewing machine here, table, cutting machine, sewing machine. A uh, beautiful place for people that cannot or don't want to buy a sewing machine and they just want to make samples. People that go to school, people that are learning, the people that are becoming tailored. So it's beautiful now. Uh, so little by little, it's been taking us like four or five months to get where we are, but we're still adding and we're doing. And today we are filming LH3588A-7. Fully automated, double needed, split bar. And I'm gonna to explain to you what is a split bar. And reverse, double needed sewing machine. This sewing machine is made to make these jeans. You know the two needles that go up, down, up, down. Quarter inch gauge between the needle. Obviously you could always change the gauge. You could do one eight, three eight, three sixteen, um, quarter, half, whatever between the needle and then the whole thing. Change the needle, I mean the um, needle bar, the foot, the feed dog, but changing the gauge. But the regular setup is quarter inch gauge. Okay, so we, we said split bar. What is the split bar? Split bar is that the two bar that bring down the needle, carry the needle down. You could have them both coming down together or have one up, down. Bam, bam. And whenever you want to stop, you stop the right, sew with the left, or stop the left and sew the right. I'm going to show you how it's done. Today's machine, we are setting up on a regular table. What is our table size? 40 by 24, I think. That's what it is. I don't have a table here with me. It's okay. But this is the normal one. We have it set up on a extra, extra heavy duty T legs with wheels, see how heavy it is because this machine is heavy. Direct drive, direct drive means that there is no external motor underneath, it's direct drive and it's fully automated. Turn on, control panel, CP-180. CP-180 is the top of the notch control panel that you could make a lot of stuff. I'm not gonna touch this. If you wanna do that, you gotta go learn this book. The CP-180 book that tells you what this control panel could do and I'm not going to start. So, but we set it up. Done, ready to go. The head is semi-dry, meaning that you do not put oil underneath inside the oil pan. Look. And by the way, you see that noise? Whenever you open this up, it's gonna make that noise. I'm gonna shut it down. You don't see no oil here, nothing inside. Oh, so heavy. No oil inside. It's the whole computer, pipes, pump the whole city down there. I'm telling you. So where does the oil go? Oil goes in the head from here. When you buy the machine, open this up, drop the oil in there, close it. The oil is gonna come stay up here. Any place between these two red lines, you're good. The machine is made in China. Everything now pretty much is made in China. You have an automatic bobbin winder right here. And the machine back on. Auto lift, if you could come here, please. Auto lift, and I'm gonna start sewing. So, so if you could come close, this goes gonna go very fast, you see? Chain, I mean the, the stitch length adjustment. Reverse from here or from here. So when you're going, you could just boom. Okay? And then whenever you stop, you could have the needle down position or up position by this control panel. The back stitching are set from here, meaning when you start, how much you want to be uh, tacking to start or stop. And whenever you're done, you just put your feet on here and 
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Look at this. Beautiful. This is whenever I stop back and forth, but this is when I cut. This is your beautiful stitching. Again, the spacing between the two threads are quarter inch. This is the back sewing. Again, when you want to pick up the foot, press. The foot goes up. I'm going to do this one round and I'm going to show you regarding the, um, see, whenever I start, the, the, there is a tacking to start. Go three, you could hear it, go four, 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 four. Meaning those, each one goes four, stitches back and start going to start the uh, sewing. See, I'm going to do slowly, I try to do slowly, but it's very fast. See? And then when you go, now. Remember I told you about the um, split bar? That's how you go to the left or to the right. Left, you want to release, go here. Right, you go, go here. I'm going to go left, just to show you how things are done. See? This one works, that one stays. Why people would do that? I'm gonna explain it to you one second. Now we're gonna bring that up. Sorry, I have to do this. Why do people do that? It's because whenever you wanna turn, as you know, physics, the two needle goes, if you wanna turn, is going to be like when you have two pen and you want to draw two lines and you're going down and you want to, you want one of them to stop so the other one turn. So then you have a beautiful, you understand what I'm saying, Lindsay? If you don't understand, nobody would understand, okay? Meaning that Lindsay would understand and Lindsay means what I mean, okay? So here, if you want to go ahead and do this, I hope people understand me. I'm gonna go start and imagine I wanna go to the left. I'm gonna just, you see what I'm talking about? It's not even showing right now, that you like me. I think we're out of, okay. For changing the foot, I mean, the bobbin. The bobbins are here, there is no bobbin case. There is cab, if you could come close up. These are, by the way, big bobbins. You see? Boom, this one, you see this latch? Take it out, and this one come out. And this will come out. This is the big bottom here, all right? So when you want, you just go ahead and put it down here, there is a um, there is a spring here that you gotta play a little bit. I mean, you gotta become friends with him, otherwise he won't let you go through. But um, I think there is a way to get in there besides. See, um, maybe I put lift Yeah. See, I told you you gotta become friends. All right, good. So you put this one down here, and there is a hole that you see. Again, all of these things that I'm doing, I never did in my life. This is the first time I'm doing this, and, okay. Get down there, okay. And then just go ahead and, you see this? Close it, all right? Same thing with the other one, let me see. If we're out, there's the latch. You see the latch, open the latch. Take this out. My bad. I'm gonna correct myself. That's how it's going to be. You put this in here, all right? That's how you do the, and then you run the thread through here, and then you, like that, and let it go, all right? That's the way it's going to be. I made a mistake, I apologize. Okay, and then you just go ahead and put it down. 
it will fall in place. So the way I did this one was wrong. You have to take this out, lift, okay? Put this one in, run it through this hole, and this is a spring that holds it, and then you come back, put it down, lock it. Woo! Too much work, I know what you guys think. But it is, okay, I'm just gonna let this go a little bit because I don't wanna, okay? All right, now. The reason I'm not closing this all the way down because I don't want the thread to get stuck. I let it go. Now, there is a, there is a knee lifter here by purpose. See, when you want to take the thread out, you could just go ahead and do this. And then if you see here, there is also the whole tension, complete tension gets released. Okay, you see that? Now, I'm gonna go ahead and when I do that, you could just hold this up. Otherwise, it's gonna be very, very hard. You see? I'm gonna take that up. Now, I'm gonna do, whenever I wanna start, I'm gonna go ahead and, okay. I wanna make sure that it's catching. And when that happens, I'm gonna get it up this thread here. I always like to um, um, start by doing the wheel by hand. Hopefully it's gonna show, but sometimes you need to, Woo! my God almighty. I'm telling you, it's crazy. Woo! And hallelujah, praise the Lord. It will cut, maybe sometimes it doesn't cut, but it gotta cut. It has to cut and it will cut. Just you gotta come friends with it. You gotta understand the sewing machine. See? You gotta know what the machine wants from you. These are very, very, very special heavy duty polyester thread. One T105, they're really heavy. You cannot even cut it with your hand. But what I'm saying is really when you get the machine, when you get it going, it comes with the LED lamp. You could go around the machine and show them the beauty of the machine, and um, it's all good. Ooh. Now, the bottom one that doesn't cut, we're gonna adjust a little bit and see why it's not cutting, but it will cut. The idea is to cut the thread. Uh, I'm gonna use some silicone spray later on, put it on here, put it on the bottom, and it will be perfect. Before we send this out, it's gonna be 100% A-okay. You get in the, with the machine. You get the CP180, you get um, another piece of paper, cover, more paper, another piece of paper, some grease and bobbin and some tooth, oiler and SC920 series, more paperwork on the sewing machine. It's all good. This is gonna ship out tomorrow. Great sewing machine from Juki 3588A-7, fully automated, direct drive, double needle, split bar, the whole nine yards, more than nine yards, the whole 29 yards. This is David from Gold Star. Thank you for watching. And I have Lindsay assisting me today with the videotaping. Thank you so much, Lindsay. And have a wonderful and golden day, everyone.